Philippe, what did you get from this evening's exercise overall? A lot. Um, this was the end of a very intense uh, training camp, training week, where we put a big load on the team to, to make them physically better. Um, and they showed the right things. Uh, I think everybody that saw the game saw, saw a good tempo, good tempo on the ball, two really good goals and several really good actions and chances. Um, so I'm happy about the way we finished, uh, did the finishing with the two goals, because we're working hard on that. Uh, that's, that's for sure a, a point we can improve from the last couple of months. Um, on the other side also, a few uh, players come out of long-term injury. We could train them, not fully like, like the rest of the squad, uh, squad but they are coming, getting better. They could take some minutes also today. So they're also on the right track. And uh, we had several young players out of academy with us uh, this week um, to make them better, to let them learn the story, how we want to play. Um, I wanted to give them this experience also because this is the, the highest level they ever played. And, uh, and they showed good things, okay. Uh, with the set pieces, the two goals we take, you see also that they don't know everything yet, but that's impossible in one week. That's why they need to get these experiences also to make faults and, uh, and to learn out of that. Uh, otherwise, it was the perfect evening, I think. How would you assess the shape of your squad ahead of returning to competitive games? You're getting some players back from injury. You have Fabio Silva in. Had you hoped to have more bodies through the door for the return of these games? Yes, uh, everybody's aligned about that, that we need uh, a few more in certain positions. And, uh, and everybody in the club who is involved in that is working day and night about that, I know. We are a lot in contact. Um, it's been really busy with those things, but until a signature is, is set by three parties, player, we and the other team, until that is not done, it's not done. So uh, I'm waiting and, uh, and I'm focused on the players who are here. Beside all the talks uh, that we have with, with, uh, with other players and looking at other players. So that's my job to do in January. That's why for every manager, when it's the 1st of February, uh, we are always very happy that this hectic period can, uh, can stop. Do you feel you're getting closer to getting any of these deals it, done? There are I, a lot I, of things I, going I, on. I get this question already a few times, but what is closer? So as long as uh, there's not a deal, you're not closer or farther away. So there are uh, some things close, but it needs to be finished. There's been a lot of speculation about Rathan's future. Can you just spell out, has there been any contact? And do you expect him to still be with the club by the time the January window ends? I cannot respond on that because, uh, and not for any player who's here, I'm busy with one thing. Everybody who's here is a player of Rangers and uh, I commit fully with all the staff to get the best out of them. But for every player at Rangers, if there comes an offer that is n not to be refused or it's a good thing for the club that moment, then we need to discuss it. For the moment, it's not the case. So Ritvan is here and he's uh, started the game also. I see it that way. I mean, you see him, he's really you know, producing some good form at the moment. He was against Kamarnik, he was excellent. Tonight in the first half especially, he was good. I mean, he's a player that you, you'd like to keep around if you can. We will see. We will see what, uh, what's going to happen. It's also uh, players need to show that they really want to be here next couple of months. So uh, we need to be prepared for everything, for every position also, if something happens that, uh, that we have solutions. So that is one position that we have two players. One is end of contract and another one, there's a lot of rumors around. So it's clear that we need to be ready for that position to, to have solutions. Well, do you only sell players or allow players to leave if you have a replacement lined up? We cannot go on uh, in three competitions with one left fullback, that's clear, for example. And in other positions, it's the same. Is it frustrating at all, Philippe, just how you know, long it's taken for transfers to get over the line? Oh, that's a nice question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
maybe when I was 20 years younger, I, I would respond uh, in the way you want. No. Um, no, I know this period. It's nothing new. Um, one of the reasons that I came to this club that was because the talks with everybody inside the club who take decisions was really good. Um, that uh, I would be involved in everything. Um, and that's the case. Uh, I hear every detail about every talk or everything that, go, that is uh, going uh, closer to signing or not. I know everything. I cannot ask for more. I know that everybody's working day and night. I see it also the hours that they call me or send me messages. So, uh, no, uh, I'm not frustrated. Uh, I want the best for the club. I want the best for the group. And I know everybody's working really hard for that. So if it's tomorrow or if it's the 31 of January, that's, that's difficult because we don't control those things. We can only work really hard for that. For the players that are here, do you feel that they are refreshed and ready to go ahead of another big part of the season coming up? What's your feeling after this evening? Yeah, we. I, I think everybody's have seen 22 players on the pitch today, um, giving their maximum, giving everything for the club. Some in positions that are not theirs also, uh, like like Cole played left winger, it's not his best position, but it's a good experience to play uh, at this level. There were not no other wingers available for this game. Um, Leon King playing right fullback, for example, and uh, and doing his his best in that position and, and playing a good game. So no, uh, I think that's that's our our main force for the moment. That everybody's working very hard. That everybody is there for the team, not for themselves. <laughs> I will take, I will keep that under control. If somebody thinks for, him, for himself, he will not be part of the team to start. That's also clear for them and, and they all feel good in that way. I think maybe the most important thing of this week, next to uh, building a, a better physical load, but we, we cannot change a lot in, in one week. Um, that's impossible. We need several months to, to make that better, that situation, where I want to get the team. Uh, but for me, the most important thing of this week was that we had with uh, almost all the players individual talks. And I told them also afterwards, uh, I do it everywhere, um, every time in this period, and also in the summer. It's been the most open and honest and truthful um, talks I had with the squad. Uh, about their own working points, about what they think they can do better, about what they, they, they did well already, about the club, about what we can make better as a staff, all the things around them. So it was super interesting. And uh, it's been a very intense week for myself also and my staff. We, we had these talks every evening from 8 until 11, and then afterwards making the training for the next day. So we missed some sleep. But um, I'm really satisfied what I saw because this this group of with a lot of young lads is uh, in the right direction, and it's important to keep our ship in uh, in that way, going in the right direction. Philippe, um, could you give us an update on Ben Davis? He hasn't been around the first team squad lately. Yeah, he's he's still injured, so uh, he's working individual with the with the physios, but he's he's not there yet to to train with the group. Do you think he'll be back? Within the next I expected him back this week, but it's not the case, so I don't want to make... Uh, I, I want to let uh, the medical staff work with players. Some recover really fast, others it goes a little bit slower, um, but everything stays around the schedule, so uh, uh, that's the thing. Other updates, uh, Kiron Dahl was not here today because he got injured. Um, in, Mal uh, in La Manga, um, and he will be out for, uh, yeah, for several weeks. I think it will be around two months or something that he will be out. So that's long term. That's a that's a big blow of this week. Philippe, in the middle of the park, you've got players coming back like Ryan Jack, 
Sequoia Case, for example, Raskin, how encouraging is it to have those players back and those options available after being so stretched in December? Uh, I want everybody fit. <laughs> um, I have a really good track, track record in that way, that in all my teams, until I came here, uh, I had an availability at the end of the season of more of 90% of the players in the trainings and in the games. So that's what I want to create here also again. But we need to change for the, to get that, a few things in the club. And uh, we're really busy with that to make things better.